Hello guys, special day, special workout, super hard workout. It's gonna take you quite a while to complete this workout. We got three burpees, six push-ups, any. Then we have five squat jumps, 10 minutes AMRAP, three minutes rest. All this is body weight, so it's a good warm up. You don't need to warm up too much before that. Then we go straight into two tasks four time, which is 100 burpees, 100 single arm swings, 100 squat dead curl, 65 snatches, then you go straight into your second task, halo, reverse lunge and twist, you alternate, first you do left, then you do right, 100 single arm swings, 100 snatches, 65 crossfit burpees, all four time. Now your burpee is just your regular burpee, feet a bit wider, squat, hands down, kick your legs out into plank, kick them back in, squeeze your glutes, pull your pelvis up, pull your spine up, don't use your back to come up, full extension, look ahead, that's one rep. Make sure you land flat on, your, on the ground with your heels, not like this. Then you got your push-ups, any, any push-up. Chest, hybrid, triceps, single arm, whatever you want to do. Hybrid, tricep, chest, you decide. After that you get your squat jumps. Look ahead, hands forward, keep your chest out, don't lean forward, then explode into the ground, come off the ground, land soft with the knees bent, straight into your next squat and jump. Five of those. And wrap as many rounds as you can. Then you get three minutes rest. Then you get your next task, which is 100 burpees. We've already demonstrated those. Then you get your single arm swings. Pick one weight that you can work with the whole time, that you can do your swings, your snatches, and your death curl with. Single arm swings look like this. Because you're not transitioning into a clean or a snatch, you can hold the bell in the middle. Looks like this. You can switch when you want. of those, then you get the squat dead curl, your squat dead curl looks like this, you want to be in a squat position, feet flat, squat deep, push your chest out, you do not want to be leaning forward like this, push your elbows out, grab the horns, thumbs at the top, curl, don't come up until you're at your chest. 
Come up, squeeze the glutes. Hold it at the chest, not out here as you're coming up. Back down, lower it controlled, dead on the ground, curl again. Now, if you want to take that strain on the biceps out while holding it up, so you only want to get the effect of the curl, is to come into open palm grip with the thumbs through the horn. If you don't know what an open palm grip is, download my PDF on 25 plus grips. Here, you're taking out the biceps. Lower. Keep pressing into the ground. Keep your glutes squeezed, abs on, chest out. Push the elbows out, lower to the ground. Controlled, curl, open palm grip against the chest, look ahead, full hip extension, this one is really going to take it out of you, it looks like an easy one and it's not a heavy weight to curl but it's just the fact that you're in a very deep squat you're loading it with weight at the bottom and you have to come up. You're going to feel this one. In the beginning you'll be able to do 10 reps, unbroken, then it gets down to 5. After that you get your snatches. Single arm full snatches. You can switch it up if you're fresh or if you're towards the end. You can go fast, up, down, up, down. If you need to pace yourself a bit more because you grip it going or you're fatigued, just do a full swing, otherwise you can come into hang and up and down. If you're not sure about the efficiency with snatching, look up my article. I've got very, uh, an article with hundreds of different variations for snatches and how it affects your snatching. Because depending on how many reps you do or how fatigued you are or what muscle is fatigued, you change your style, you change your grip, you change your swing to hip hinge to squat, you change the drop, there's so much you can change. A snatch is not just bang up and down, there's a lot to it. So if you want to get efficient with your snatch, look up that article, uh, just uh, type in search on www.cavemantraining.com, in the search type in snatch variations, many articles will come up. You snatch, looks like this, you can switch when you want to. Next, you get your halo and reverse lunge and twist. You alternate each rep, left, right. To pick up your bell, you can swing it and change your grips to a horn grip, upside down. Again, if you don't know what the grips are, download my PDF on grips. Knowing all your grips for kettlebell training is gonna improve your training. It will make you understand what I refer to in my workouts. Around the head, behind the head, at the side. This is where you start to reverse lunge. Twist. Look at the bell. It needs to be beside your hip. You're rotating your spine, your thoracic. Your right shoulder comes towards your left knee. Your left shoulder comes towards your right ankle. Back up. Around the head, either side.
maintain good form. If you can't maintain good form and you're here, don't continue. Take a rest. That's what it means. It means you need to take a rest. Yes, we're going for time, but you need to go for time with good technique and form, always. After that, you get your single arm swings again, 100 reps this time, 100 snatches, and then we finish with 65 CrossFit burpees. You'll notice there is a difference between a burpee and a CrossFit burpee. A burpee is this plank up into standing. CrossFit burpee is a tricep push up, jump, clap, or for efficiency, it's kicking back, falling down, rolling up, kicking in, jumping up, clapping. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Post below, post on Facebook. Feel free to ask any questions if you're not sure. I'm always here to help. See you in 2018. like to enter the world of kettlebell training. Lay a solid foundation upon which you can become a pro kettlebell enthusiast or trainer. Learn how to train with one portable versatile tool which allows you to perform compound exercises, train unilateral, and in every aspect of fitness imaginable. Cardiovascular endurance, flexibility, mobility, strength, agility, muscular endurance, and much, much more. Train not only for awesome aesthetics, but also for abilities like improved proprioception, speed and power, plus many other abilities that will help improve not only daily life, but also performance in all types of sports, golf, tennis, baseball, MMA, BJJ, and more. You decide, buy the book and learn on your own, or buy the online course and become certified. You could pay a kettlebell instructor thousands of dollars and more than likely still not learn all the finer details and secrets that you will learn from this resource. This is not just for complete novices who have never touched a kettlebell in their life, but also those who have been training a while but have not had the opportunity to lay the proper foundations and understand the important intricacies of kettlebell training. Anyone who starts kettlebell training needs to follow the kettlebell journey step by step. They need to go through the rites of passage. There are no shortcuts. Chapters include, what is kettlebell training? Kettlebell safety, how to warm up for kettlebell training. How to choose your kettlebell, kettlebell grips, basic double arm swing instructions, kettlebell racking and cleaning, kettlebell pain, kettlebell golden rules, progression for beginners, overhead press, rows, stretching. Buy the book today and start learning straight away 